Yo! I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Let's go. Dude. Got seven bucks? No, 170 bucks. Oh, 170. Let's go. And guess how much I got in my patches this year? Five dollars. Let's see. Like, I'm not so angry. Yeah. All right. Like, I love. Are both these monitors working? Yeah. That monitor keeps randomly shutting off. Oh. And then I'm gonna be the dog. Oh, okay. Wait, is Giovanna the one that you play as? Yeah, well, I used to. Yeah. Oh, and then you could get Austin to wear his maid. Because he has the whole maid hat. Oh, I Wait, so Mux won their last set 3 1. I was just looking at the bracket because I heard Peach game was the one game. Yeah. They lost. So, like. Unless Nico makes the adaptation. Actually, I, I was going to say since the one was the Peach game and it was basically 3 0 for Mux, but maybe he was just. Maybe he was just trolling because he knew he was going to lose on Nico's counter pick anyways. You never know. So you know what? I'll take it as an honest 3-1. Maybe he just thought it would be really funny to go peach and down smash on Tyler Dreams. You know we what? don't know. You know what? If he thought that, he's absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah, I I hate that, like, man, when she hits her edge guards, it looks unplayable. Edge guarding is very important. Yeah. People forget. It's pretty important. And, like, there's certain characters where, like, most of your kills are with edge guards. Yeah. Sheik, Mark. Puff. But when, when like, when Sheik's hitting her edge guards, it looks so, it looks so slow and easy and clean and like there's nothing you can possibly do. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean it. It's because I abused my girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah. She got George look easy because back air is ginormous. Yeah. True. Yeah. And it is pretty fucking easy to hit that move. But mm. you gotta you gotta get them to do an option. I'll get hit by the back air in the first place. And a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Like I know I know it's not as easy as it looks, but like the way she just like floats out there, it makes it look kind of ridiculous. Yeah. She can also basically do it invincibly from the ledge as well, which is. Mm. You know, that's why you always see him refresh legend in the back air like right away. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it took me an embarrassingly long time to realize that uh, invincible edge guarding was a thing. I was just like, damn, when the good, when the pros do it, their their back air just wins every time. But yeah. when I do it, I get hit. It's because you're not refreshing. Yep. Oh, this is bullshit. Okay, wait, this is good though. Oh. I just hate you getting dash tag over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> is, this a, is this a good counter pick for Falco? Yeah. Box is making it look like not a good counter pick. Yeah. It's really it's good because she slows the platforms. Ah, uh, yeah. She slows platforms. And Falco is punished game. Oh, you're dead anyway. Falco's punish game is really good on FD, but Mux was just playing really good. Yeah. And it's not like... Amazing economy right now. Man, I was so pessimistic thinking this, this Muxedo monster was going to doom him in this set. But he's actually winning even harder. Yeah. Oh, he should up smash again, though. Yeah. Wasn't that also an up smash? It's stale now, it probably wouldn't kill him. <laughs> 
Oh, I have another like skirt. I got mine. Up. And you were saying uh, Mox has been hitting his edge guards. I'd like some more edge guards than Nico. Myself. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got to hit him off stage first. Yeah. Well, you had him off stage at one point, and like. Yeah, it was just like, like I don't know, he wasn't ready for yeah, I just have to like, get back to the ledge right away. Okay. Yeah. And like, I don't think I'd want to wear a blazer. Because like, that's um, what we want to Unless it's like, well, it's in September. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But I don't like the menu might be hot. Yeah. yeah. Like, Getting tech chase paper. feels so bad for momentum. Yeah. yeah it is. That's like, that's like the <laughs> hidden technique, like the... You know how Pokemon, they have like a hidden ability? Yeah. Beneath all their attacks and stuff like that? That oh, is yeah. the hidden ability of tech tracing, is it actually just like makes it so you can't play anymore? Yeah. Like it's you're, obviously good because you're building damage and shit. But. Yeah, but like if you're you're playing fast, you're playing hot, you're, you're in the groove, and then you gotta watch it. 30 second cutscene because you got grabbed once. Yeah. And it's just disheartening. Because really, you think you can do something about it. But it's not on you to do something about it. It's yeah. on them to fuck it up. It's not like, like getting wobbled. You just you mash a little bit and you go, eh. All right, there's nothing I can do this about now. Yeah. Tech chasing, you're like, well, I can tag, I can not tag. I can DI different ways. Like, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, those are the edge guards we need to hit. Yeah. Like at 129, like anything would kill her off stage if she got hit by it. So you really just need to pledge, just wait. Back air, there you go. Yeah. We'll take it. We gotta get Austin and David says, uh, Sayori and the. Uh, okay, we're That's cooking. Yes. Yeah. Food with Sayori. Well, no, don't they ship? Um, oh. oh, Nico's kind of flubbing a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Give him a minute to warm up. He hasn't yeah. played the game for the last two sets, or two games. So her hair is kind of Yeah, yeah. Well, just put a little red bow on it. Yeah. Ooh, that little up there. Oh, wait, here we go. Big up there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I used to do it all the time too. I used to get off ledge every time. Now I, I just hold. You just gotta hold ledge. It's so scary because you think she's gonna get on stage and like reversal you or something like that. But you really do just gotta hold ledge and unless you see her die, but you even neutral get up or you just hold it. Because I think he would have got hit by the poof there. Yeah. So what you want to do is. Or do you want to start, you want to refresh your invincibility like right when she starts her up B a lot of the time? Yeah. Because then she's starting her up B so there's no hitbox, you don't got to worry about it. Mm. And then you'll be invincible once the hitbox comes up. I see. That's how a lot of characters want to flow chart it. You want to like refresh on ledge until you see her do the up B and then refresh one more time right at the start and then... I, I see, I see. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about the poop. Oh, he grabs that side piece. Oh, I think if he went to ledge, I think she was actually dead there, but that's scary. Oh, you're dead. Oh, no. Much, much just swagging by a down airing. <laughs> we call this swagging. We call this swagging. Oh. That'd be really awkward if he lost the game because of swagging. Oh. I think it's the BGs. 